I'm going to share a feature with you in Moodle that allows you to tweak the settings of a quiz for uh, in, an individual student or a few individual students if you need them to, let's say, take the quiz at another time than other students, or you need them to have longer time to take the quiz, or maybe you want to give them more than one attempt, whereas most of the class will, will have one attempt. Um, you can do that without having to create multiple quizzes with different setting time, settings on them. So to you, this feature is called the override, the user override. And to access it, you're first going to go into the quiz. And then you go to the settings wheel and click. And you go down to user overrides. And you can see that there's a group override. This is if you need to create different settings than you need for the rest of the class for a group of students. And they all need to have the same settings. So let's say there's a group of students let, that uh, they were all playing for the Vanier Cheetahs and their game was at a certain time and, and they had to go to town. And so you had said to them, OK, I will let you guys write this quiz at another time. And so they're all going to have to access it at the same time. You would use the group override. But if you want to create individual overrides, because maybe there are particular needs that, that each student has, then you would want to use the user override. OK. Here, uh, the, you see once the interface for the user override opens that I already have one student that I've created an override for. And you can also see that I can uh, go in and I can uh, change the, the parameters for this. If I need to, I can copy it. Uh, let's say uh, I just need to change the name. This could be a, a way to, to do that quickly. Or if I now need to delete this override, I could just click little garbage can. So let's create a new override. I'm going to first search for my student. And I can only put one student in per override. If I try to search for another student, then this name would be deleted. All right. Now I can put um, a password if I want to. And if I want to make sure that I copied it correctly, I can just click the little eye icon and then I can click the pencil and control C to copy it for my student. Here I'm going to set when the quiz opens for them and when it closes. Okay, so if you ever if it's ever grayed out, just click enable to to open it and you change the time. Oh, we're not going to give the student very long, are we? Where you change the time and the uh, and the date here. And then you can also set a time limit. You'd have to enable it by clicking. And you can also determine how many times the student will be able to attempt the quiz. If you need to change your settings, you could just click here and say revert to the quiz defaults. Now, if you have another student you need to add, you can just click save and enter another override. And then it will allow you to do that, probably keeping Let's see, it's probably keeping the, the settings that I had already created. Yep, that's exactly what it's doing. Um, and But if I'm done, I can just click Save. So I now have my, my override for this one student. I can add another one for another student if I want to. And the nice thing about this is it allows me to have uh, some nuance in terms of, you know, maybe this student I want to have access for an extra half hour, but this other student is going to have access for another 15 minutes. Maybe this student needs to take a makeup test on Tuesday. This other student needs to make take a makeup test on Wednesday. And so this, this allows me that flexibility. I'll just click save. Oops. And it's asking me, I guess, to input something different. So save and then close. So I now have, it even shows me the type of override. So this, this student has uh, the quiz opening at a different time. This student has the quiz closing at a different time. And this student, I've required a password. This student, I didn't. And so this is a, a nice flexible way to be able to um, have some control over uh, those exceptional cases that you have in your class without having to copy multiple quizzes.
And in another video, I'll show you how you can create a group override.